My name is Beth from Christ Memorial Lutheran Church in East Brunswick, New Jersey. In last week's lesson, we learned how Jesus wants us not to worry, but to trust him to take care of us. Today's lesson teaches us about God's wonderful forgiveness. We all sin against God and other people. When we realize our mistakes, the best thing to do is to ask for forgiveness from both the person we have hurt and our Heavenly Father. But that is often very difficult. The last thing we want to do is admit our mistakes. Today's story is another parable Jesus used to teach people about forgiveness. In the Gospel of Luke, Jesus was being criticized for eating with sinful people. Jesus told three parables of lost items to teach people how much he wanted people to follow him, say they were sorry, and obey God. The first parable is about a man losing one out of 100 sheep. He searched and searched for it and rejoiced when he finally found it. Jesus compared the lost sheep to a sinful person who says they're sorry. The second parable was about a woman who lost one out of 10 silver coins. She searched and searched until it was found and called her neighbors to come in and rejoice with her. Jesus compared the found coin to a sinner who says they are sorry. Today's Bible story tells the final parable about the lost items. Jesus told those who criticized him about a man who had two sons. The younger son told his father to give him his fair share of their family's wealth. So the father divided his son's shares between his two sons. Within a few days, that youngest son took all of his wealth and went off to another country. In time, the younger son used up all of his wealth on wild parties and other bad choices. So he wound up having to go to work for a farmer. It was his job to feed the farmer's pigs. He didn't have enough food to eat. He became so hungry, he wanted to eat the pig's food. When he felt like he was going to die from hunger, he decided to go back and offer to be a servant to his father. He planned exactly what he would say to his father. Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you, and I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired servants. But when he was still far away, his father saw his youngest son coming home. The father felt sorry for his son. He ran to him and kissed him. Even though the son only asked to be treated like a servant, his father treated him like a prince. He gave him a special robe and sandals, and he put a ring on the son's finger. He made a big party for his returning son because he was lost, and now he was found. When the oldest faithful and obedient son became angry about how the father was treating his returning brother, the father reassured him that he still had his father's blessings. He was just rejoicing that his son, who was dead in sin, had said he was sorry and was now alive. He was lost and now was found. Our Heavenly Father loves us and wants us to turn from our sins and return to our faith in him. Thank God that Jesus' life, death, and resurrection provide the forgiveness we need to do this. This will be the last video lesson for now. We pray these stories have been a blessing to you and your family. It is our hope that you have or will find a house of worship where you can all grow in your faith and the knowledge of God.